Welcome guys to another track guide on F122. This time we're going to be taking a look at the shortest circuit on the calendar, Austria. So as per usual, I'll take you guys around the lap slowly, giving you guys all the details and I'll show you a fast lap so that you can see how to tackle this circuit in real time. So let's get straight into it. All right guys, so coming out of the final corner, you want to break a little bit early so you can get on the throttle a little bit early as well. In fifth gear, make sure you get your foot down as quickly as possible. Then you open up DRS and you're starting a lap at Austria. So the first corner, quite a fast corner, very easy to mess up. I like to break at the 100 meter board. Make sure you use all the track on the entry. Uh, obviously in a straight line, especially if you use an ABS. Break down into fourth gear. And then what I like to do is the most I will do here is just clip the edge of the curbing with my right hand tires. Other than that, you don't want to go any further than that or else the car's bottoming out. You're going to go wide and it's going to lose you time all the way up to turn three. And then as soon as I hit the, the corner there, short shift up the fifth gear. And then again, once again, this is probably the most amount of curb you can use on the exit. Basically, you want to have your left hand tires on the yellow sausage curb there any further. And you're just going to lose time because you're going to not only invalidate, but you're also going to uh, bottom out and you're just going to lose time. So that's about the maximum amount of curb here. Turn two, it's not a corner in Formula 1. I don't know why it's still counted as one. Um, realistically, this would be turn two, but it's not. Turn three, eighth gear, uh, just before the 100 meter board, slam on the brakes. Um, straight line once again, using all the entry possible. Down into third gear, turn in a little bit early, let the car sort of roll into the corner. And then just keep turning the car for longer um, so you can get a better exit. Short shift up to fourth gear. And then just put your foot down, put the power down and just bomb it down to turn four. Turn four, very similar to turn three, except it's downhill instead of uphill. So eighth gear once again, using all the drag on entry again. Uh, this time breaking just after the 100 meter board. You can afford to break uh, a little bit later here. So just after the 100 meter board, down into fourth gear. And then you can use the inside curbing there if you want to. Um, I think in my lap I might have missed it, but you can use it. It's not too, too much of a difference. And then there's a little bit of a bump on the exit here. So you want to just try and get the car over to the right-hand side as soon as you can. Um, that will help with traction as well. So, yeah, get your foot down. Try and get to the right-hand side. And then you've got this corner coming up. These two left-handers. Um, roughly about here is where you want to start braking, turning in just after the 50-meter board. Uh, you'll be in seventh gear coming into the corner. And then you want to shift down into fifth gear for this corner. And then, yeah, just get your foot on the throttle. Sixth gear, use as much of the track on the exit as possible because you're going to be using it on the, the entry of the next corner as well. Seventh gear for this corner. One downshift into sixth just after you pass that the curbing on the, on the right-hand side. And then, yeah, just, just get as close to that curb as you possibly can. If, if you use too much, then you'll lose time. If you, use, if you use too little, it'll spin you out. So just get to, as close to it as you possibly can. And then use all of the exit curb here so that you can actually uh, keep the momentum of your speed all the way down to turn uh, turn nine. Turn nine is 10 pretty uh, difficult corners here, especially when you're you know on a good lap. You really want to make sure that you keep keep the lap going. So just before the 50, eighth gear down into sixth gear for this corner. Again, just get as close as you possibly can to this curbing and get your foot on the throttle again uh, using all of the exit curb because you're going to need it for the entry of the next corner and then the next corner. Uh, roughly around about here, what I like to do is if you look on the left hand side, you can see a, a, a two different colored barriers. When I get to this barrier here, so basically the second to last blue, that's when I start to hit the brakes. Um, I believe you'll be in seventh gear by the time you get to that, down into fifth gear, get as close as you can to the yellow sausage curb, put your foot back on the throttle as much as you can, use all the exit you can, and that is a lap around the shortest circuit in Formula One. So, what I'm going to do now is play you the fast lap so you can see how to tackle this circuit in real time. So let's do it.
and that's where you're losing time around Austria. So make sure to go down below in the comment section and let me know after you've done a practice session how much time you were able to gain thanks to this track guide. And I'll catch you guys for my final track guide coming up soon. Baku.